Okay, this is a demonstration on how to pose and how not to pose a Himalayan rabbit. I'm using my chocolate block here. Um, so the first thing is, you do not pose them like that. That is wrong. Um, Himalayans are unique, and so they're not posed like any other breed of rabbit. The first thing you want to do is, like your other breeds, you can align up the front of the feet, or the front of the toes, sorry, with the middle of the eye, so that that makes a line. And then I run my hands back. I'm going to grab a hold of the rabbit with my front fingers kind of running along the rump. My middle fingers go underneath, actually, so that they meet. My ring fingers grab a hold of the hind toes, and my my uh, sorry, my pinky fingers meet underneath the rabbit. And I'm going to stretch them out. And if you have one that's stubborn that's wanting to pull itself up, you can actually put your arms against the shoulders and rock it out like this and then you want to place whoops sorry bud see and sometimes it takes a few times and that's okay and he's a junior buck and i just had a dough on the table so that's probably not helping so i'm gonna go like that i have a nice top straight line my heels are touching the table my toes are on the table my front toes are in line with the eyes these toes which you can't really see at the moment, are just a little bit behind here. Um, and your other breeds are going to be forward, but Himalayan tough usually the longer legs. They have a real nice top line here. You put their ears up. You can see he has a real nice body type, very nicely shown off. Um, the tail is out behind or held up like that, which he's not going to do right now. Um, so this is a really good pose. What you don't want to do is that where you have where you have the toes on the table and the heels up in the air um you don't want to do it either um it'll give you what looks like a nice body line but it'll give you false length and um it's not right um you also don't want to try to pose them like this and stretch them out that way um, you end up with a rabbit that has a very, um, very crooked top, or a very rounded top line, and it also, um, it makes the hips really stick out, so that your hands catch on those hips. Um, when you do it like this, you're actually tucking the hips into the rabbit, um, so when I rub my hand back, they actually, they catch just a tiny bit on him, because he's a tiny bit hippy but they keep going straight back. So, um, you don't pose them like a normal one and then just kind of stretch them back like that because you'll end up with their hips or their feet really wide set, which mean makes the hips stand out a lot more. And um, they just don't look nice. So that is how to pose a Himalayan.